Hello everyone and welcome to Network Playroom. So in my last video, I discussed the content and format of the new CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure Lab Exam. However, there's still one part I didn't cover, which is the hardware and software used in the lab exam. So continuing on that topic, let's look at a document available on the Cisco Learning Network, which lists all the equipment and software versions in the practical exam. I have that document open on my web browser here. So let's just start with the first paragraph. Let's go through the intro introduction first. So it says the practical exam tests candidates on solutions that can be configured using the below equipment and software versions. Candidates may see more recent software versions during their attempt, but will only be tested on features that are supported in the list below. Now, particularly the last sentence is important to note because if you choose to build your own lab, I guess the best option is to go with the versions listed here or higher. Then it should be guaranteed that your equipment supports all the features that will be tested in the exam. Now moving along to the second paragraph, passing the exam requires a depth of understanding difficult to obtain without hands-on experience. Early in your preparation, you should arrange access to equipment and software similar to that used on the exam. Now, this is very true. It's hard to learn push-ups by reading a book. You actually have to physically do them. Same with networking. You need hands-on experience to become an expert with the devices. Now let's scroll further down to look at the actual equipment that is used in the lab exam. So it is organized in three categories. The first is virtual machines and under it we have like Cisco SD-WAN and then there is Cisco IOSB and then Cisco SD-WAN again, but more specifically vManage, vBond vSmart and vEdge and then finally Cisco DNA Center. Now second under physical equipment only Cisco Catalyst 9300 series switches is listed and then finally under supporting virtual machines you we have Cisco Identity Services Engine or ICE and then Microsoft Windows Windows 10 more specifically, and also Ubuntu desktop. I like it that they've been very specific with the version. So if you want to build your own lab, this is definitely the go-to guide for that information or what equipment you would want to run in your lab. Next, I've put together a document where I've collected links to the configuration guides for these products. So we'll look at those next. I have them open in new tabs on my browser. So let's start with the Cisco IOS XE SD-WAN release 16.12. So this is the documentation that I found on the Cisco product page. Here you should find a wealth of information about this solution. So you can go through these contents on your own. This would be too much to cover in one video. So then next, let's jump on to the Cisco iOS software release 15.8. Actually, I have a kind of master page open here. So this lists all the networking software for iOS and NXOS. And this doesn't specifically say iOS V because I think it's that's some kind of virtual solution of iOS. I'm not very familiar with Cisco iOS V, I have to admit. So I would certainly look into both of these versions. And this one actually says 
L2. So this is referring to switching layer two. Um, so you can find both of those software releases in this document. 15.2 is here, 15.8 is here. All right, what do we have next on the list? Uh, more Cisco SD-1. So this is the document that I found for that product. Release 14.8. Again, a lot of information here. Okay, moving along to the next one, Cisco DNA Center. This is the configuration guide I found for it. Release 1.3. Many links here as well. And then under physical equipment, we had the Cisco Catalyst 9300 series switches. So this is the configuration guide for that. It looks empty because it only has two links here, but if you click on these, you will find much more information. Contents, there we go. And then finally, we had Cisco Identity Services Engine right here, release 2.6. I didn't search for any documentation for Microsoft Windows or Linux Ubuntu. So if you want to find more information on those, I'm sure Google will help you. One important thing to note here is that you do not have to read those documents word for word, cover to cover, virtually speaking. Um, I would focus on the topics that are listed in the exam blueprint, the ones we did, we explored in another video, and then kind of cherry pick those topics from these configuration guides. I'm not saying don't read these documents in full like ever. But if your goal is to pass an exam, then concentrate on the topics that are in the exam or topics that directly support you passing the exam. So that was just a quick video to show you what equipment and software are used in the CCIE lab exam. I hope you found this useful. Again, I'll leave links in the description so you can go explore these documents on your own. Happy studying. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.